jobs. We know that's been d disproven, she said. I mean, this is just two plus two equals three type stuff. It's getting well, so what weird. Does she know she hasn't driven a car in 25 years. This oh, that's is a good point. Who is totally cut off from the reality of life in America. I mean, I don't think she has any idea where jobs come from, never having created one. I mean, she's all about command and control. And by the way, not even in an interesting way. Blessing, in one sentence, listen to the next Hillary Clinton speech that you can, and you'll, the first thing you'll notice is how totally banal she is. She it sounds like a... Nixon administration. No, no, I totally agree. I mean, I'm interrupting. She sounds like a broken robot or something. Totally unappealing. I mean, I don't I think there are a lot worse people in American politics than Hillary. Like, I don't wake up in the middle of the night wishing her ill. I don't hate her. But I, she's just not impressive. And nobody Speak says that out loud. You know, I think she's pretty tough. Okay, great. There are a lot of tough people in this world, you know, are hard to people. But she's not had original idea ever. And I've watched her since I was at the newspaper in Arkansas more than 20 years ago. She's just not interesting, period. Well, you're a very nice man to not say that she's a not, I mean, that you don't hate her, but I mean, come on. You can say that a trash can is tough. She is just, why can't we get rid of Clintons and Bushes? I, oh, mean, I totally agree. There are 320 million people in this country. Let's, I mean, talk about the need for diversity. We're always yapping about diversity. How about some political diversity? I mean, I think, by the way, the founders were really worried, as you know better than anybody, they're really on guard against the very human impulse to worship temporal authority. They didn't want a dictator because they knew that the people, in many cases, want a dictator. They want a king. And the founders basically set up all these systems to prevent us from getting what we really want, which was a, is a king. And we've kind of gone around all their safeguards and are setting up, well, we're not setting up a king, but we're, you're seeing this human impulse at work here. Where sure. We want to keep rewarding people from the same families. Why are we doing this? Well, that's like the Israelites uh, wanted a king and, and, and God didn't want to give them one and they finally exactly. got Saul. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's the same story. It just doesn't end well. Uh, it's so sad. I want to go to a few phone calls here, and then after you leave us in overdrive, I'm going to premiere that James O'Keefe piece, and then we've got the full interview coming up tonight. Uh, but first off, Mary in Pennsylvania, you're on the air with Tucker Carlson. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I have to apologize because I wanted to depart from the topic of the election for a moment because there's something that I've always wanted to ask of Tucker Carlson. And uh, I just wanted to say that the Daily Caller website is really an aberration in conservative media in terms of uh, the disrespect towards women that it has on its website. It's essentially in a race to the bottom with the left with its policy of contributing to over-sexualized atmosphere that we have. In are you, ma'am, 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 hold on a minute. I, I mean, are you one of these people that thinks they should ban the statue of the sailor on Victory Over Japan kissing the woman? Because they're banning that everywhere. I mean, I mean... I mean, are you joking? I don't think anybody accuses Daily Caller of. I think I think, I think Tucker gets accused of being almost too liberal sometimes. You, now you're saying he's attacking women. Is being a man, period, attacking women? Lead article and a, a slideshow of sexy girls and whatever. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, let me just say, hold on. Let me let me just say that I, as the, as a man who's been married 23 years and has three daughters, I I like women better than men. I can say it with total sincerity. Me but too. I also believe that beauty is important, and we're not embarrassed to put things that are beautiful, not necessarily well, sexual or debased. Um, but there's nothing wrong with a site. woman in a swimsuit. And look, that's what advertisers have in their ads. Ma'am, are you upset when you see a woman in a bathing suit on CNN? When they're trying to sell products and and prostituting women out in that way, of course. Of uh, now, course. wait a minute, wait yeah, a minute. See, that's wordsmithing. I would also say, by the way, we do surveys on this. If this makes you feel any better, our female readers are some of the biggest consumers of the biggest uh, repeat readers of our slideshows. That oh, yeah. It's the women that are looking at it. it. Come on. It's, I'm sorry, pick up Cosmopolitan magazine. It's a, it's a, obviously it's geared toward women, and it's filled with pictures of naked women that are much, much saucier than anything you'll find on our site. But no, we're not embarrassed. Listen, about man, it. I, I appreciate me. your call, but I'm going to be honest. I, th I think that was a seminar caller, and I never say that, <laughs> but I really do think that was just a cheap shot by some writer. At well, that's pretty you know, funny. Well, but I mean, give me a break. You guys have occasional slides on the sides of like you know uh, a, a a woman on a surfboard or something. I mean, I'm just. 
notice how the left is is like a cult though like we're in some 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 weird cult and we're about to be burned at the stake because you have Marilyn Monroe on your website well they're all very uptight I mean for ex I mean you know we're happy to do a slideshow on the women of the IDF for example because it's hilarious and, and it's funny and interesting and whatever and we mean it in a very light-hearted way there's nothing serious or creepy about it at all and and I just don't believe that things that are meant in good faith and as that, that are funny are, are offensive. I By the way, so. I have looked at the slideshow of the women of the IDF and think that, you know, that they're very nice looking. I mean, I, well, I mean, what's wrong with that? Uh, they certainly are. It's awesome. And it's funny. I mean, it's a, it's a riot. So every every Yom Kippur, we do an IDF slideshow, and it makes me laugh every every year. Uh, I just can't people are offended it. by it, I think they're in a small minority, and I'm sorry. Yeah, lady, that. I don't think you're a regular listener. I think that was. We got more Tucker Carlson questions ahead. Uh, preacher in Texas wants to talk to him. Just don't show slideshows of, of guys in underwear. Don't show that. Now that, I agree, is sexist, and I'm against it. We would it. never do that, ever. <laughs> don't, Tucker, or I'm going to quit reading it. I, I want to see. I mean, it's, it's, uh, that's what I like, though. I like Marilyn Monroe, women in bathing suits. There's nothing wrong with celebrating feminine beauty. I, I just do not apologize for it. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now right here in the United States, and your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. KD Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. KD Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. KD Armor, come and take it. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. We said it. This is not America. This is collectivism, and it's collapsed every country that ever got involved with it. Hand out a bunch of free stuff for a while, and then the government descends into gangs and counter gangs. Finishing up here with Tucker Carlson. We'll be back tonight, six hours live, with a bunch of taped interviews and other things. So we can take breaks, but it's going to be powerful. The entire news team, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, free video links. 
they're taking the show right now, so you can just go find it. We're going to be hosting out of the new studio. We're going to be hosting the radio show full-time soon. So uh, we're launching everything here in just the next few months, years in the making. So see us uh, here tonight, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern, PrisonPlanet.tv and more. Also free audio feeds as well, InfoWars.com. Tucker Carlson, I want to take a few final calls from Preacher, uh, Corey, and a couple others that are uh, holding, or not Corey, whoever's next up. But... Do you think the Republicans will take the Senate? A and B, do you think they'll then try to reverse Obamacare? And C, will they get removed from office if they don't reverse Obamacare? Um, those are th that is exactly the sequence of events that's most likely to occur. Uh, a, I'm not sure. I think, of course, the odds are in favor of the Republicans taking the Senate tonight um, or in January when the recount in Georgia is done. Um, but I'm not, you know, I wouldn't bet that my house on it, actually. Um, I think it's, the, the numbers are pretty, really confusing. But yeah, if I had to bet, I guess I would bet a limited amount of money that they'll win. No, they will not try to overturn Obamacare, um, because they don't think they can, and they don't think that it's politically popular to do so, and they won't. And yes, they will wind up disappointing a lot of their voters, because they always do. But uh, people are getting fed up with them. I, I see a Tea Party takeover of the Republicans if, if, if they don't change over to our way, which is just basic survival. Yeah, I mean, look, candidates who, I mean, the most popular senator in the United States, there's only one senator right now who's running unopposed, and that's Jeff Sessions of Alabama. And Jeff Sessions is not a good speaker. Jeff Sessions is not super charismatic. He doesn't pander to people. The only reason Jeff Sessions is truly the most popular person in the state of Alabama is because he's really principled. He says exactly what he thinks. He doesn't lie. And people like that. I uh, think there's a market for that. I actually think you can get elected and keep your job if you are an honest man. Look at Ron Paul. He, another example. Exactly. Exactly. Talk about a guy. I mean, I've been to a lot of Ron Paul speeches. Ron Paul is one of the least inspiring speakers ever, and yet he inspires all these people. Why? Because you know when Ron Paul talks, whether you agree or not, he's being totally sincere. Integrity. Absolutely. Integrity. Yes. Let's talk to Preacher uh, in Texas. Go ahead. You're on the air with Tucker Carlson. Hello, Alex. First of all, I want to thank you for all you do to get the information out uh, to take down uh, these people who are trying to oppress us. Second, uh, Tucker, I am a follower of yours on Daily Caller, and I appreciate the work you do on uh, Fox News. Oh, thanks a lot. I did uh, yeah. Uh, hey, I wanted to bring up a story that you put out on Daily Caller today. I thought was pretty interesting. That kind of shows the racism of the Obama family, and that's Michelle going out and telling voters to go vote Democrat and then go have a piece of fried chicken. Now, is that not racist? Well, I don't know what the hell she was talking about. I mean, that, that, first of all, I mean, it's, it, it, it sounds like part of a stereotype-laden joke. A, B, isn't that a direct violation of her eat kale for breakfast program or something? <laughs> yeah, every time I see her, she's like eating the most fattening foods, and then the stuff she wants our kids to eat looks like rat feed or something. <laughs> so I don't, I mean, I couldn't even begin to decode what she said. I will say my one sentence on Michelle Obama I've been thinking about all day is here she's campaigning much more than Barack Obama, but you're not allowed to criticize her. She's a full on political figure used by the Democratic Party to get votes for their candidates. Sure. But it's somehow out of bounds for you to say anything. Well, that's about like it. saying, you know, she's a woman and she's black, so it's a double. And if, they, and if they run Hillary, oh, now you're against women. And I think that woman earlier is mad that two men, you and your former college roommate, own it. I think that's why they're mad because all the feminist groups don't get mad when they have women in bikinis. It's if a man owns something and has a woman on a bikini. Tucker Carlson, DailyCaller.com. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks, Alex. That was great. Thank you. you uh, great job. All right, we're going to come back with the James O'Keefe. Uh... You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals, bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected, literally, hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality or because they're not 100% organic or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Melvin, 
vitality, super female vitality, lung cleanse, fluoride shield, oxy powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting-edge, hardcore products.